Hello everyone, hope you're doing well today. I just want to give you an update on the 7.3 project. I know I haven't released any videos lately. And a while ago, I was able to get the cab on. I'm going to show you that here right now. And uh, I actually got some of the interior in. The dashboard is in. It does run and drive. Um, but none of the seats are in and it still needs a lot of work. So I, I'll be releasing an update video in the next couple of months. I haven't worked on it much, but I'll release that update video and then I'll get back to work on it probably in the summer months when it gets a little warmer here. But regardless, today I want to show how I went ahead, removed the cab, and I removed it without a lift. Or actually I installed it without a lift. And I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, really anybody can can do this. You don't need a lift to remove a cab. And when it comes to these kind of projects, these big projects, a lot of times what happens is you encounter situations where people tell you or you think that you need certain equipment or machinery, otherwise you just can't do it, you know, you can't get it done. Most of the time that's not true. You can almost always, you know, figure out a way and uh, if you're persistent, you can figure out a way to get it done and move on. It depends how bad you want to do it, okay? In this situation, it, it was similar, you know, was told that I needed to bring it over to a friend's house, to a mechanic, whatever, who has a lift and install it that way. But I made it work. I made it happen. I persisted and it's on and, it, and it's good to go. So... First of all, um, this isn't the only way to do it. I've seen a couple different ways. You know, when the real small, with the real small cabs, the regular cabs, I've seen people get away with taking an engine hoist and sticking it in the, you know, in the inside of the cab, and then put a put a four by six or some kind of wood board on the on the top of the cab, and then hoist it up that way and move it around. Granted, this is probably only going to work for smaller, regular cabs. And heck, even those small ones, you can usually you know, get four guys and, and lift it up and put it on that way. But I'm going to show you here how I did it, um, how I made it work. And uh, basically all I did was I, I used a chain hoist. And this chain hoist I used was older than dirt. Okay, I've had it for a long time. You can find them at, at Harbor Freight online or Fleet Farm or wherever for, for fairly cheap. You know, $100 or less. And they have pretty, um, pretty good weight ratings, or, or you know, a weight rating that exceeds anything that you'd be doing on a project like this. Okay, like I believe the one I had was a one ton, so two thousand pounds. This cab, empty, weighed maybe five hundred pounds. You know, with the seats and the dashboard and everything, maybe closer to eight or seven hundred. Granted, if you have if you have a crew cab, you know, this is an extended cab, but if you had a crew cab you'd be looking at a thousand pounds plus, um, you know, completely full. But again, you can still make it work. And if you get a big enough chain hoist um, and find something big enough to attach it to, you can make it work. But here's what I did here. I took a chain hoist, took my chain hoist, and I basically just went out and I found a tree in my backyard. And I found a tree with a big enough branch on it. And this branch was probably, you know, a foot and a half you know, diameter, big tree branch, but I tried to uh, attach the hoist as close to the center of the tree as I could. Uh, I don't want the weight, you know, being out at the end of the end of the branch and, uh, you know, for chance that it would snap. Granted that this is a pretty dang big tree branch, but if you got a tree in your backyard that's big enough, um, you can make it work. You can, you know, put that chain hoist up there and, uh, it's more than strong enough to hold a, f a few hundred pounds or, you know, 500 pounds, 400 pounds, whatever. So that's what I did. Um, down on the cab, I just took a 4x6 and I ran that 4x6 on the inside, put two straps in the ends that I bought from Fleet Farm, ran a ratchet strap along the top, you know, connecting the two ends of the, of the board, and um, just lifted it up. Um, 
from the top of the cab. And, you know, it wasn't like, it didn't go up like butter. You know, it was still heavy and you still had to, you know, pull pretty good to get it up there. But nothing I couldn't do. And, it, you know, it, it went up slowly, but took my time and and got it up there and and uh, was able to get it up high enough where it could clear the frame and the engine no problem but the only part that I had an advantage over some people was moving the frame around and I had the frame in my garage when I was you know cleaning it up and painting it and to move it around we used the tractor you know I know all or some people aren't gonna have that opportunity but listen you can make it work um, if it was in a position where, you know, in your backyard, you could, you when, when taking the frame off, you could, you could, or excuse me, taking the cab off, you could just lift it straight up, pull the cab forward, you know, 20, 25 feet, set the cab down, work on it right there, you know, then when you're ready to go, you just lift that cab back up and just push the frame back, you know, that might work, or if you've got some kind of like a, one of those little tents, those car port you know little shed things and put that up and same thing roll it forward you know if you're in a position to do that you know fine if it was if it was summertime I would have no problem working on that truck outside that's just me maybe some of you wouldn't but regardless you can usually find a way to move it around and and make it work I know if you have like a um, some kind of crane you know, I know you can get cheap ones at Harbor Freight. I don't know what capacity they are, two tons or, or whatever. And you know, get something like that or, or get something a little bit beefier that is on big wheels. And, you know, if you have it next to a shed or something, you could wheel it around and, you know, put a chain hoist on there and lift that, that cab right up and and uh, put it back down. But But the moral of the story here is that it doesn't really matter. You can You can get it done. Maybe there's people out there that can use the same method I did, um, but regardless, you know, make do with what you have and uh, get it done. You know, as long as you persevere, you can get it done. So one more thing I, I will add is, you know, lifting it up and, and putting it down, you know, the cab kind of leaned forward. It was a little uneven, but to solve that problem, all you'd have to do is, you know, throw some weight in the back of it. Uh, till it till it levels out, you know it's that simple. A lot of common stuff, common sense stuff here. You know, just figure it out and you'll make it work. And uh, yeah, so if anybody's out there looking to do this, um, hopefully this helps you out. Just find a big old tree in your backyard, okay? Big tree. Make sure it's got a big branch, and uh, get that chain hoist as close to the center of the tree as you can. But once you got it on there, you know you can just Ratchet that cab up and roll the frame underneath, and it's that easy. And when it's, you know, in the air like that, you can even kind of move it around, try to position it, you know, where it needs to go. You can move the cab. You don't have to move the frame as much. But, um, you know, it's that simple. And you can lower it down, line it up, lower it down, line it up, and then, you know, set it on the frame. And there you go. Put the bolts in, and, and you're done. So I hope this helps some of you out there trying to do a task like this. Um, you know, never, never get discouraged about you know, not having the means to do something. You, know, you, you can always figure it out. You can always find a way to do it. Uh, it's just how bad you want to do it. So if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more videos like it, um, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to have more videos for the 7.3 series here. And I also have a couple uh, trucks that I work on for, for my job. You know, I've got a 6.0 and a 7.3. So if you want to see videos on those, go ahead, subscribe. Got some other toys that we work on as well. But uh, regardless, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, thanks for watching.